morning guys welcome to vlogmas day 17 today is tuesday honey is in the passenger seat all curled up i just took a shower and she slept the entire time it was perfect so she's very sleepy right now i have a few errands i need to run but first i'm gonna go through starbucks of course jacob is out filming right now he's at a shoot for someone so he should be back around 11 or 11 30 right now it is 9 45 so the errands i have to run are really close to the house so that's nice so it should be quick and then i have some work to get done at the house and i think later tonight jacob and i will build the gingerbread house that i bought forever ago because i think that would be fun and i always buy gingerbread houses and then never do them so i need to make sure that we do it this year so first stop starbucks okay guys so it's a bit later now i am in different clothes because I have a story for you about this little one. So, remember how I said that those errands were gonna be super easy? Well, so I had to go to Starbucks, of course, that went fine, and then I had to go to the pharmacy to pick up some things. So I went to like the medication pickup drive-through that CVS has, but they asked me to come inside. And so, being the dumb person that I am, I thought honey would be fine, it would only take five minutes, so I rolled down all the windows and I went inside. It ended up taking like 20 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm inside the pharmacy freaking out because I know she's probably freaking out and they're taking forever. Finally, they don't get it figured out and they're like, we'll call you later. And so I'm like, great, I just spent 30 minutes in your pharmacy and I still didn't even get my medication so I have to wait for that. And Honey was freaking out in the car. So I run out to the car, I get to the car, and guys, the sight to be seen was horrible. Like, I'm picturing it right now. <laughs> Basically, she had pooped in the driver's seat and then had continued to step in the poo and smear it on the passenger side seat and the middle console everywhere. I was like, I don't know what to do. I didn't have anything. I had like three pee pads, so and all she wanted to do was to see me so she was jumping on me I was getting poop all over me because it was all over her so I put one pee pad down on my seat so I didn't get my pants even more dirty then I put a pee pad on top of my lap and then just put her on top of that so the poop kind of stayed contained and then I had to drive home luckily the CVS is like literally two minutes like I could walk to it so I get home I have to wash her off first because I can't just take her upstairs and let her walk around with the poop all over her. So I take her upstairs, I wash her off. That took like 15 minutes. And then I put her in her crate in the garage so that I could clean out the car without her freaking out and exploring and getting more poop on her. So I cleaned out my brand new car that I just got like in June. Don't even know if I got all the poop off of it. I have a picture of what the car looks like. I will spare you guys the photo because you would not want to see it. So I used water to get all of the poop off of my seats. And then I also used a pet spray that's like a stain and odor remover. So I did water and that. Basically all the poop is off of it. I scrubbed it down so hard. <laughs> And my quick little easy errand turned into like a two hour cleanup process and I probably scarred her in the process. So that was a great morning. I don't know why I thought I could just leave her in the car. I even for a split second thought I should just go home and come back later to the pharmacy. But I didn't. I just decided that she would be okay and that was a horrible mistake. And plus I didn't even have Jacob with me. He was gone filming so he couldn't help me clean up or anything he didn't go ho get home till like two hours after everything happened <sighs> so i had to change my clothes i had to wash everything i washed towels i had to wash the clothes that i was in i i had to clean everything i like washed my arms washed my hands like five times but comment down below if this has ever happened to you if you have had a puppy and they have done something horrible like this the thing is i knew like i knew better than this i just Never trust customer service to be fast guys. Never ever ever. It is always slower than you think and I should have known that. Lesson learned. I will not leave her in the car until she is fully potty trained and I know you're not even really supposed to leave dogs in the car but I literally thought it was going to be two minutes. <sighs> Anyways, I'm just so upset by the whole situation. Now it is 
5.45, we're making dinner, we're doing burgers tonight. I have some tater tots in the oven and Jacob is braving the cold again outside and grilling for us. An update on my mouth, it is doing so much better. Like I don't know what happened between yesterday and today, but it feels so much better. I think it will be better by Christmas, which is such a blessing because I just, I wanted to be able to eat and talk and just enjoy Christmas obviously without having pain in my mouth, so. And I actually had a dentist appointment scheduled for yesterday, but I called and canceled because I knew that that would be just way, way too painful, them sticking all their tools in my mouth. It's been a long ramble, but I'm just going to keep making dinner, and I think we're going to make the gingerbread house tonight, so I think that would be really fun. We just finished dinner, and I pulled out the big gingerbread house. It's actually pre-built, so I bought the one that's like actually already glued together. So that way we can just decorate it super easy and don't have to worry about it falling apart. Cause I never actually eat the gingerbread houses anyway, so I don't think so. It's more just fun some. to decorate. So this is the gingerbread house that we have and I got it from Target. We're watching Gilmore Girls, so I think we are going to just decorate this. Watch our honey. Does that sound good? Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. So I poured all the candy in this little bowl. We have some red icing, a whole thing of white icing, and the house that's already pre-built. So I think we're gonna each do a side and kind of- But we're gonna collaborate. Yeah, we're gonna decide what we wanna do and then we'll each just, I guess, gotcha. just help each other out. So yay, it should be fun. Got some Gilmore on and we're gonna decorate. but I like it. It's very cute. Have you guys did 360. <laughs> More like 270, but I can show you the back. I know, I did the wrong side for the front. Because this side doesn't have any looks like cardboard good, on it. it. I think it still looks cute. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Now we need to find somewhere to put it where Honey won't get it. <laughs> it looks so cute. I love it. Wish I had realized what side the front is, but <laughs> it's fine. It's the backyard. Yeah, it's the backyard. Perfect. We can put a little pool. <laughs> <laughs> we also put Honey in the crate because she was acting up a lot and now she's sleeping in it. Which you said would happen, but I didn't believe you. What are you doing? I'm gonna put it out. No. Why? It's all melted. He always blows my candles out. Should we do a pool in the backyard? That'd be kind of nah, funny. No, I don't want to overdo it. We don't have enough blues. I've been eating them. <laughs> You've been eating just the blue ones? Mm -hmm. That's funny. It is now a bit later and all three of us are getting ready for bed. Jacob and I were in there just working a little bit longer and now I think we're gonna watch The Crown. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Um, and we're gonna see how long we can get through it. We're both pretty tired, but... It's only 8.30. <laughs> I know, but I'm so tired, aren't you? Mm -hmm. It's been a long day. Hasn't it, honey? It was a long day for you too with your big poo accident. Oh, did you tell him about yeah, that? Yeah, I did. It's not your fault. You're blaming the whole thing on me, really? No, it's her fault, but it's your fault. It's 50 50. Uh, <laughs> I have no words right now. What? Whose fault is it then? It's both of ours. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go to bed, watch a show, cuddle our little honey bunny for a little bit, and. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, decorating a gingerbread house. Thanks so much for watching guys. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.